Well, hey, good to see you all. Come up by the screen so I can see you. I wish you were here in the building, um, but we're not yet. Maybe soon, maybe not, I don't know. But, uh, but I'm glad you're here. I mean, I'm glad you're here, but are you getting tired of this? I mean, I am. I'm getting tired of this. Don't you think? It's getting, like, long, and I'm getting tired of this. And now I'm going to start doing confirmation class on Zoom. Ugh. I, you know, you know what we need? We need Jesus, by golly, we need Jesus. And so I was thinking about that, and I thought, maybe maybe like if I acted like Jesus, or dressed like Jesus, or I had bare feet like Jesus probably did, maybe Jesus would come. Do you think? Do you think if I have bare feet, Jesus will come? Well, I can tell you what my daughter would say. She'd say, Dad, you've got stinky feet. Jesus ain't coming. Well, I don't know. I just wish we could have Jesus here, because these are really weird times, aren't they? And, and, you know, like I said, it's kind of getting long and old, and I'm getting tired, and I need Jesus. So how am I going to get Jesus? I mean, if he's not going to come for my bare feet, what's he going to come for? I mean, I thought, if I thought if I had bare feet, like Jesus walked around in bare feet, he'd feel more comfortable being here, but um, I guess not. So, hmm. So what am I doing? You know what? There is another way to get Jesus. Did you know that? I'm going to read to you. Here's something that, this is in the Gospel of Matthew. And if you watch the worship video for this week, this is the Gospel reading we use. And I'm only going to read one verse. Here's what Jesus said. He said, For where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there among them. Wow. Now, I, I think it is pretty true that Jesus is with us even when we're alone. But I'm also thinking it's kind of cool because, like, I'm in church here all by myself. There's nobody here, right? Oh, but wait, Pastor Jean is here. Say hi, Pastor Jean. Hi, everybody. She's on the other side of the screen. She's making sure that this happens. She's making me look good, okay? So if I don't look very good, you know who to blame. Pastor Jean and I are here, and nobody else is here. Is that right? I mean, if I took the camera and I turned it around, there's nobody else in the church sanctuary. In fact, because the doors are locked, there's nobody else in the entire building. Wrong. That's not true. Who else is here? Two or three are gathered. Me and Pastor Jean. Let's see. We have a little pop quiz. Should you do a little pop quiz? Hey, Pastor Jean, if two, or two of us are here, who else is here? Does she know the answer? She's got her hand up. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, she got it right. Yay, I'm so happy. I'm so excited. Yeah, don't you see? See, see, we feel really alone sometimes. And even when I'm by myself, Jesus is with me, okay? But think about, like, you're with your friends or with your family, and maybe, maybe your family's having dinner together, and you're thinking, oh, this is so hard. But you know what? Jesus is there with you. We are never really alone. And so Jesus says, when two or three are gathered in my name, but again, I think it's true even when one of us is there, it's just that one person can't gather. Do you think about that? One, you can't gather as one person. You can only gather when you have two. So Jesus is talking about when people gather together, you got to have at least two to gather. Whenever they gather in his name, he's there with us. Isn't that awesome? I mean, so when your family gets together and maybe you haven't seen grandma in six months, because grandma is in a nursing home, or grandma lives in another state, and you couldn't go on vacation to see her, or who knows, whatever. Or maybe you did get to see grandma just for a day, and you're feeling kind of lonely because I miss grandma. You know what? Jesus is with you, and Jesus is with grandma, too. Isn't that cool? So I want you to remember that this week, especially as you begin, those of you in school begin to do schooling, and you go on Zoom or something else, and you're looking at all these faces on the screen, and you're thinking, ah. Jesus is with you. Do not forget that. And you know what the best part is? You don't have to have bare feet to have Jesus with you. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. So just know that Jesus loves you and he's with you always. Um, so have a great week as school gets rolling. And for those of you who are not yet in school, you know, have a great week just having fun and spending time. And <clears throat> I think next week, I think Pastor Jean will be here. I don't know what she's going to say. But I'm guessing she won't have bare feet. So, but I do know Jesus will be here with us. 
Okay, thanks a lot. Take care. Bye-bye.